Hi everyone, I'm Cleon Wong from ASRock. Today I'm here to promote our new product, Desk Mini. Now, ASRock has been working with Intel Corporation to make this new form factor in Mini STX, which is slightly smaller than the usual Mini ITX and also bigger than um, Nook. But what makes STX so special is that inside the Mini STX motherboard, has a CPU standard CPU socket so that users may choose to use their own desired CPUs i7, i5, i3, whatever they want to install. Now we have the two uh, mini SDX and the Nook put on the table side by side. You can see apparently the Nook is smaller in size but it has its restrictions such as due to the heat dissipation issues so uh, users can only use U-series CPUs like in this one we're using the i7 6500U CPU and users aren't able to swap the CPU they can only use the, the CPU inside. Uh, compared to that ASRock's Desk Mini, the Mini STX has enough size so it can not only does it fit in a swappable CPU right now we have the i3 6100 CPU crammed inside but you can also fit in a standard Intel box fan inside. Now, this is only exclusive on ASRock's Desk Mini. Other Mini SDX don't support uh, standard box fans. So, now let's run some tests and check out the performance differences on these two systems. Our first runner up is the Nook, paired with a Core i7 6500U CPU. And by running Synbench R15, we have a score of 304. On the other hand, ASRock's Desk Mini paired with the Core i3-6100 CPU, we have a CPU score of 400, so that means a lot. With ASRock's Mini STX and uh, i3, which costs uh, considerably lower, it costs about like $111, it has a uh, way much better performance than uh, i7 U-series CPU, which costs like about almost $400. Putting ASRock's Desk Mini next to a traditional tower size desktop PC makes it a lot desirable, not just because of the portability but also because of the size. And another thing is that for these tower sized PCs, you have to slide them under the table because of the enormous size. So that makes um, installing, plugging in, or removing USB devices, cables, or even audio devices a pain in the ass because you have to crawl all the way under the table or at the back of your chassis. But that won't happen on ASRock's Desk Mini because of the miniature size so you can just place it on top of your table and remove any cables or devices easily. Another thing that is, that's different is that for these tower size desktops users usually spend an additional around like $50 for a discrete graphics card. So now let's run some tests to see how the, these $50 discrete graphics cards stand up against uh, Desk Mini with the uh, integrated graphics on the Core i3 CPU for instance. For both configurations we're all using the Core i3 6100 CPU to be fair. And first we've run 3D Mark 12 on ASRock's Desk Mini and we're using the integrated graphics from a Core i3 CPU and we have a score of 919 marks. On the other hand, the desktop tower, we're using a discrete graphics card, NVIDIA's GT620 and it has a score of 467 which proves that users don't necessarily have to waste around like $50 on a discrete graphics card. Even uh, the mini STX with the integrated graphics may have better graphics performance than larger desktops. Let's take a look inside ASRock's Desk Mini and see how to install the components. At the rear end of the box there's a small metal uh, handle. By pulling it then you can open it up. It slides open like a drawer. Next we'll install the components using pictures. Inside there's a mini STX motherboard and in the middle there's a CPU socket where you can install your uh, CPU of choice, Core i7, i5, i3, whatever. And next to the CPU socket, there's two SO DIMM slots for you to install SO DIMM modules, two of them to be exact. And next to that, there's uh, two M.2 slots, where uh, one, the, the one below, you can add a M.2 Wi-Fi card. And 
add another M.2 PCI SSD on top of that. Or if you want even more space, then you can flip the, this tray upside down and below beneath the tray there's also enough space to cram in a SATA 2.5 inch SSD and flip it back onto the right side again then you can add this one's ASRock exclusive you can put a standard Intel box fan on top of your CPU for better cooling and there's then just slip the tray back in again and now you're good to go if you're interested in a highly upgradable and compact design mini SDX system, then ASRock Desk Mini is your first choice. It can be used for personal use, uh, be a business desktop, industrial, or even educational. So, this is ASRock's Desk Mini. See you next time.